Alright, next is to solve for your state 3. Where it's given to you P3 is equal to 20 megapascal. And that given to you your T3 is equal to 600 degrees C and therefore as mentioned before when you have two information which is pressure and temperature so directly you are going to read it from your superheated table which is your table A6 in fact if you have a look at your uh, TS diagram sketch over here Entering your high pressure turbine must be in a superheated region. So from table E6, your H3 is equal to 3539.0 kilojoule per kg, and you will need your S3 because you are going to solve for your 4S over here so this is the isentropic part and this is the actual part so your S3 is equal to 6.5075 kilojoule per kg dot kelvin and now let us move to Solving for your state 4, which is given to you state 4, where you have your pressure 4 is equal to 1.4 megapascal, and because your S4 is equal to your S3, which is equal to 6.5075 kilojoule per kg dot kelvin so now you will need to verify your s over here whether you are going to read it from set superheated table or from the mixture table so you have here table from your e5 and this one table from the A6 which is superheated region so if you have a look at here your S value over here is 6.5075 and because given to your pressure therefore you need first to have a look at your table E5 where the very left column gives you pressure so the pressure value over here 1.4 megapascal is actually 1400 kilopascal so let's have a look at the entropy part over here. The saturated gas is 6.4675, whereas you have your S4 over here is 6.5075, which is exceeded your SG. So it is clear that your state 4 right now is in a superheated region. Therefore, you will need to read from your table A6, which is your superheated table. And from your superheated table at 1.4 megapascal, there is no exact value of your S4. You have in a range of 6.4975 and 6.7488. Therefore, again, we will make use of your interpolation method in order to obtain your H4. So let's make use of this interpolation method. So you are looking for your H4 over here, which is in the range of 6.5075 and the higher value over here is 6.7488 and the corresponding of your H is 290 to 27.9. And the corresponding below is 
1.4975 and the corresponding value of h is 2803 so this is to look for your h this is your s and when you do the interpolation it is actually you are looking for the isentropic value first which is your h4s minus your 2803 over with 2927.9 minus with your 2803 so it is equal to your 6 point Five zero five minus with your six point four nine seven five over with six point seven four eight eight minus with six point four nine seven five and eventually you will get your H four S is equal to 2807.97 kilojoule per kg now next is to find your actual value which is your H4A so we are going to make use of this isentropic relations so you will have the work of your high pressure turbine because it is all, the state is at your high pressure turbine so isentropic efficiency of your high pressure turbine is equal to work actual over work s h 3 minus your h 4 a over your h 3 minus your h 4 s equal to 0 0.85 so if you if we rearrange this right. so you plug in all the h3 value that you got previously and the h4s that you obtain in here so finally you will get your h4a is equal to 2917.6245 kilojoule per kg